Okay, guys, uh, I'm just, uh, just, uh, I've been editing all day. The vlog I shot last night wasn't, uh, I shot a couple times because I, I was scattlebrained with all the, the discussions I had about basketball yesterday. Just... Okay, so I've just been uh, watching basketball all day. Pretty good be able to watch it. I watched uh, Ohio State, Ohio State team that kind of seemed like Indiana. I mean, you know, they, they started off kind of slow and then they just let it up and I was pretty impressed with Ohio State. Then I watched Michigan again and each time I see Michigan, they continue to get battled. Uh, and it just they look better to me every time I see them. And the only thing is with Michigan is they don't have near as good as a bench or the depth Indiana has. And, and I think Indiana's a little bit more uh, balanced. Uh, even though Michigan has four players average a double figure, Indiana does too. But we have Shahi off the bench who's still in double figures. But, you know, I think Indiana's much deeper, and, uh, and so I don't know. But I tell you one thing, uh, Michigan's point goal, uh, what's his, I can't think of his name. Look out for him, he could get, he, he'll probably get play over you uh, talk. I mean, there's a good chance he might get play over you. <laughs> But I mean, he might uh, he might get play over you in the Big Ten too. Zell Zell's doing good, and uh, Yogi Ferrell is doing good. He's leading. Well, he's second in assist in the Big Ten. He's behind Michigan's uh, point, uh, and that's good. But oh, Michigan looked impressive. Uh, Ohio State looked impressive. Here's the thing about the Big Ten right now. I'm telling you right now, even me. Okay. I overrated Illinois. Uh, I watched them today. I don't think, I think they're, they're not as good as everybody's saying and what I'm saying. Uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they ended up losing a lot uh, in the Big Ten. And they probably will not make the NCAA tournament. I'm telling you that right now. Iowa, on the other hand, is a surprise. I'm telling you right now, Iowa, the Iowa Hawkeyes are awesome. So, uh, but anyway, yeah, two days, two days away, New Year's Eve. I'm going to a New Year's Eve party. Uh, IU plays at the pool. And uh, the pool who sent me the invite, I mean, it just made my, he said the uh, New Year's Eve portal starts at six. It starts at six, right? Uh, Four o'clock, he said, it sold to fool if you're an IU fan. I thought he was just being, I mean, just choking around, but then it just dawned on me, he's an IU fan, and yeah, they play it fool. I thought Indiana played at six. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm super excited about, uh, about the Iowa game. It will be a true test for IU. I couldn't ask for a better test for IU than at Iowa. Right off the bat, I mean, you don't want you don't want to play the toughest team in the Big Ten or the second toughest team or whatever right off the bat. But you don't want to play somebody really easy. Iowa is just going to be one heck of a matchup. 
and I don't know. I think it's going to go down to the wire, to be honest. Well, maybe. I mean, Indiana could win by five, ten points, but man, I don't know if Iowa is going to be pumped. It is going to be tough. And uh, I don't know. I mean, as long as Indiana don't press like I think they should. And I know I talked about Edward Vogue, but it's driving me nuts. Okay? It's driving me nuts. But as long as they don't press, then, you know, then I don't know. It, it just seems like we're just going to be battling. Uh, you know? I mean, I think we could... If we came out pressing right off the bat against Iowa, let me tell you, we could quiet the crowd. See, that's another thing Tom Crane and I use going to find out. If you come out pressing right from the get-go and pressure the basketball like crazy and come out aggressive, you will put down the crowd like that. You get off to a good 8 one to start the game or something, the crowd, you take the crowd out of it. So I don't know. Indiana needs to press. Needs to press. I say it every vlog. I know I do, but man, I tell you, I, I just, I'm going to tweet Tom Crane. Because I'm going to email him. <laughs> I just don't understand. I love Tom Crane. I love every player on the team. I love Tom Crane, but I am very passionate about this basketball team and about IU. Everybody knows that, but that's just all there is to it. So, uh, anyway, this vlog's going to be short sure. tomorrow, I don't know, probably do a little bit more preview of the Iowa game, uh, the Jacksonville game, I might talk about that a little bit more, I just didn't watch it today, like I wanted to, so, uh, so anyway, go IU, peace. your daddy yeah your school's coming up short what billboard baggins i know you wish you had it but you ain't though no nope. we just crossed you over broke your ankle